An Ohio town is ringing in the holiday season early this year for a very special cause. Hundreds of people outside Cincinnati held a Christmas celebration yesterday for two year old Brody Allen. The boy's parents learned last month that their son's rare brain cancer has spread. Vladimir Dutier of our streaming network CBSN visited Brody's hometown where the community delivered some much needed holiday cheer. You come home at night and the whole street is like lit up and it's it's amazing to know that it's all for Brody. The season of giving is already underway in one Cincinnati suburb. You're not showing off. On Sunday, two-year-old Brody Allen celebrated Christmas. He threw candy to crowds of people wearing Santa hats and waving signs. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Last month, Brody's parents, Shiloh and Todd, learned their son's brain cancer had advanced and that he only had two months to live. They go through all the questions like, you know, we can radiation, but radiation will just destroy him because he's two. Clinical trials they can look for, but it, it won't really give us any more time. I wanted to bring him home. During a difficult night, Todd played an old black and white version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for Brody on his phone. He actually fell asleep and it calmed him. Watching him enjoy that moment, I was like, okay, bud, we're going to do Christmas. The Allens decided to celebrate Christmas in September. They turned to Facebook to ask neighbors for help, and the community responded. Okay. Neighbors put up lights, Santas, and snow globes on their front lawn. Do you think about the idea that wouldn't this be great if everybody treated each other like this I think they all do. the time? I think they do. We just don't see it. I love Brody. I really do. But the support didn't stop there. It's just been beautiful. Christmas cards started arriving at the Allen home. What is this all done for you all as a family? It's uh, renewed my faith in, in humanity and people. Brody is one of six kids. Mackenzie Allen is his oldest sister. He doesn't know that he's sick. For him, it's just a normal day. You're the ones that are in a way, suffering perhaps even more than he is. He carries everybody else. He keeps us happy, keeps us in a good mood. And this community kept Brody happy on a warm autumn day by making it a very Merry Christmas. For CBS This Morning, Vladimir Dutier, Cincinnati, Ohio. That's a strong community. It is. It does it is. that in a sweet pulling together. Mm -hmm.